Welcome to the long-awaited updated guide on how to submit your setup to get featured on Setup Wars. This video is sponsored by VIPYourCDKey.com. If you're building yourself a PC or you're looking to upgrade Windows, do not pay full price for a key and instead pick them up from here. They have legit Windows 10 Pro keys as well as Windows 11 Pro keys for dirt cheap. Using the code TS20, you will get a nice discount. And after checking out, they will send you instructions on how to retrieve the key within a minute. And afterwards, all you have to do is go into the activation settings and put it in and you're good to go. To first start off, you're gonna need a high quality smartphone or a camera to take crispy photos. The higher the quality of photos you submit, the higher the chances are that your setup will get accepted. Please label all of your photos before you send them. Also, please shoot in landscape mode. Do not send me any vertical photos, otherwise your submission will get rejected. Also, if you're shooting on an iPhone, do not use portrait mode. Make sure it's on photo and the zoom is set on 1x. Make sure you are taking pictures in the daylight. Do not send me only nighttime photos. I want to see what your setup looks like during the day so that I can see everything clearly. Photo one should be a direct shot of your setup without the chair. I want to be able to see everything from side to side. Make sure the entire setup is within frame. Feel free to shoot in wide angle format if needed. Photo two should be a 45 degree angle of your setup from either side. It could be the left side or the right side. Just make sure the chair is not included. Photo three should be the exact same photo, but this time with the chair included in the shot. Photo four should be another 45 degree angle, but from the other side, assuming you have the space for the shot. Don't worry if you guys can't provide all the exact photos because I do realize that some rooms are smaller than others. So some of these shots are impossible to achieve. Photo five should be a top down shot of your keyboard, mouse and mouse pad. Photo 6 should be a close-up of your monitors. Make sure that all of your monitors are within frame. Photo 7 should be a shot behind your monitors because I want to see how you hook them up to your desk or the wall if that's the route you took. Photo number 8 should be an almost eye-level shot of your entire setup so that I can see the beautiful cable management. Photos 9 through 10 should be close-up shots of your cable management. I want to see how you routed the cables and what you used to do so. Photos 11 through 14 should be dedicated to your PC. I want to get up close and personal with your system, almost like getting a colonoscopy. Feel free to spice up these photos. You can remove the side panel or even take it outside for those beauty shots. It's entirely up to you. But for picture 15, just make sure the PC is shut off so that I can see what it looks like without the lighting. Picture 16 and above should be close-up shots of whatever you have on your desk. This could be anything from consoles to audio interfaces, cute little collectibles, basically anything that you want featured in the video. Also, don't forget to take pictures of the rest of the room if you want to share that with everyone as well. Maybe you have a separate console gaming setup, an entertainment area, or just some pretty cool wall decor that you want to show off. If you have pets, definitely take pictures of them because who doesn't love pets? Don't be afraid to include yourself in the submission, you guys. I'll love it when I see you actually using the setup in the photos. But if you're too shy, that's completely fine. This part is optional, but you guys can wait until it gets dark outside and send me photos of what your setup looks like in low light. I love looking at setups in low light because it looks completely different, especially with all the RGB lights on. Feel free to send me as many photos and angles as you want in low light. Lastly, if you want, you can also include a video to showcase the beautiful RGB lights that you got going on, or maybe to show off some really cool custom work that you've done in your setup. And if you really want to take your submission to the next level, feel free to edit a badass intro to kick off your setup. Just make sure it's shot at least in 1080p with 30 FPS. So after you're done taking all the photos, make sure you go through each one of them one by one to make sure that nothing is out of focus and that you have everything that you need. Here is a quick list for reference if you want to double check everything. Next, go to WeTransfer.com and click on the I just want to send files link. You don't need to set up an account to send your files. Uh, go ahead and fill out the necessary information. You're going to be emailing the photos to setupwars at gmail.com. So make sure to put this in the top. Next, put in your email and the title. The title could be just your name dash setupwars, just so I know that you're obviously applying for setupwars. In the message section, I need you guys to copy and paste the info listed in the description section below and fill out everything. It's all simple stuff like your name, occupation, age, 
what the setup is used for and basically all the gear in your setup. Whatever you guys do, do not put any links to products. I just want the product's name instead. The more complete the section is, the higher the chances are of your setup getting accepted. Once everything is filled out, hit send and wait for all the files to upload and be sent over. Hope this was helpful. Thank you guys for watching and I hope to see your setup on Setup Wars.